Hi. In the first part of this three-part series on cravings and food addictions, I am going to talk about the science of cravings. Cravings are uncontrollable intense urges to eat a certain food and are not always fueled by hunger pangs. People may blame cravings on a sweet tooth, bad eating habits or a lack of self-control. These may be true to a certain degree but cravings actually involve a complex interplay of many factors like brain messages, behaviors that become habits over time and having easy access to food. Foods that stimulate the reward regions of the brain influence our food choices and eating behaviors. They create a heightened pleasure making us want to keep consuming them. These foods are sometimes labeled as hyper palatable. Now usually they are high carb or high carb with high fat foods like rice, breads, chips and french fries. They stimulate the release of metabolic stress and appetite hormones including insulin, cortisol, dopamine, leptin and ghrelin all of which play a role in cravings. Normally when eating a meal, appetite suppressing hormones like glucagon like peptide, cholecystokinin and leptin communicate with the brain to stop eating. Eating high carb foods interfere with these satiety signals so that one may continue to crave despite having eaten enough food. They reduce stressful emotions temporarily and therefore lead to a habitual desire to reach out for these so called comfort foods. Take a moment and think of your comfort foods. Most if not all are likely to be carbohydrates. Cravings are most often but not always related to carbohydrate based foods. If craving a specific food does not hamper your health and interfere with your fitness goals then it can be ignored. Check the link in the description for part 2 where I explain factors that cause cravings and 10 tips to manage them. Hope you found this video informative. If you like this video please like, comment and share. You may also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more updates.